You know, most everybody's heard by now, uh, 2011 was the 100th year anniversary of the famous 1911 semi-auto pistol that uh, John Brown had designed. Many years ago, the U.S. Army adopted it, I believe it was March 29th, 2011, and it, uh, it served for many years, still serving with some of our forces, the 1911, and a lot of people for 2011 introduced some commemorative models, but Browning has come out with one, and I think they really did it right. They come out with a 22 long rifle version that is scaled down. And I've seen pictures of this and read about it before, but I've never held one or seen it compared to a full size. And it's, uh, I'm gonna lay it here where you can look at it, how it's scaled down in every dimension as a 1911. And they didn't just take the easy route, you know, and, and cosmetically do this thing. They did it upright. The controls are just like a 1911. It has a removable barrel bushing like a 1911. Has the GI style sights on it. Has the slide lock, 1911. Magazine release just like it. It's got the brown plastic uh, checkered grips like old 1911 service pistols. The manual thumb safety is the same. The grip safety is the same. The difference is everything just smaller is scaled down to shoot the 22 long rifle cartridge, which is a dandy little cartridge. It's got a 10-shot magazine made out of blue steel. It does have a magazine safety in it, so the weapon will not fire without the magazine in the gun. But it's a, it locks open on the last shot. It's a nice, dandy little 22 long rifle. Just a sweet shooting, sweet handling. Uh, great little pistol. It's uh, easy to use, easy to shoot well. I modified a ransom resting search so I could put it in there and check the accuracy of it. Accuracy is really, really good with several types of 22 long rifle ammunition. Also, I tried uh, about 16, maybe 18 types of 22 long rifle ammunition through this gun. Never stuttered on anything except for one dud cartridge. It was the cartridge's fault. Uh, hammer, hammered the rim of that cartridge several times. It never would go off. Then it just well, the pistol did its part, uh, the cartridge didn't, but uh, every other cartridge fed, fired, and ejected perfectly out of this weapon. Anyway, it's the uh, 1911-22, and it's from uh, Browning Firearms. It's made in the USA. It's made right, and Browning really did a good job on this one. They didn't take any shortcuts. They did it right, and it's uh, made for a dandy little 22 pistol. This trim little gun, it's made primarily out of aluminum. It's got an aluminum slide, aluminum frame. All your internal components are, uh, are steel. Um, and in fact, in the slide is a steel insert that uh, houses the firing pin of the extractor. Uh, this barrel hood here is stainless steel that the barrel pins into. Good looking little weapon. It weighs just a hair under a pound, so it handles really well. Um, at that weight, uh, it, you know, you feel a little bit of recoil with 22, but of course 22 don't don't hardly recoil at all. So it's real easy to shoot, easy for anybody to shoot this thing well. I'm only going to uh, just uh, blast off a few and uh, have a little fun with it today. Good shooting, buddy.